Shur here, and today we're gonna be viewing my uh, my uh, most broken deck yet, if used in the right way. And he's a uh, is not pay no mind to this. I'm gonna show you my victory using this deck. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Which this could save on my overall replays, but whatever. I'll just save it on YouTube. And uh, yeah. So this is a deck where you want to go first. Oh wait. Hold on. This means showing my side. Well I guess it's showing his point of view. As I had two jars of greed, thank god. A Ronin Toad in defense mode. Uh, if this card is in your graveyard, you can banish one frog monster from your graveyard. Special summon this card. Now that could include a uh, flying toad, which is surprisingly on the list of those monsters that you can, that can summon. Is is there a way to like uh, change the angle? No. Uh, no. Okay. And um, he played Shard of Greed and Rockstone Warrior. He took out my, uh, Monster Reborn. But thank god he took out my Morphing Jar because this is where the game really got started. Because I drew a double summon and, uh, two two-star frogs. Now this is a frog deck, so you want to get as many two-stars on the field as you can in the first turn. I failed, but I did it in the second or third turn. And I managed to summon totally awesome. Literally the best card in this entire deck. Let's see what it does. Hold on, let me uh let me pause real quick. Two level two aqua monsters are its uh cost, and once per turn during the standby phase, you can detach one material from this card. Special summon one frog monster from your deck. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a spell card or monster effect quickly, you can send one mo aqua monster from your hand or face up field to the graveyard. Negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. Then you can set it on to your field. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one water monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand now. This essentially gives the ability to bogart to your opponent's spells. And traps. Basically, they play trap hole. You can literally take it, and um, they literally can't do anything about it. They just can't normal summon. <laughs> Anyways, uh, back to the game. Also got Death Frog on the field. Well, his name became Death Frog. He's actually called um, what is it again? I forget his name. Fuck. As I've also got two dupe frongs, which allows me to prevent them from attacking me at all, because, uh, let's read the na the instructions. This card's name becomes Death Frog while on the field. Monsters your opponent controls cannot target monsters for attacks. Said this one. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one frog monster from your deck to grave or graveyard to your hand. Set dupe frog. Keep that in mind. Only this monster, and there's two of this monster on the field, meaning they can't attack at all because they don't know who to attack. That's essentially how this strat, this typical strat works. You do with it. You can also do this with Magician's Valkyria for a Dark Magician deck, or Marauding T Captain for just a Warrior deck. Also got a block attack up here. Don't know what I'd use it for. <laughs> And I got some. I got Froggy Force Heal, which if they manage to attack one of my monsters, not likely, then uh, all their monsters end up getting destroyed. They are in attack position at least, which this guy puts all of them in attack position. Oh, look at that, he summoned the uh, Junk Synchron. But here's the thing Tuners. Countdown spells apparently. 
Uh, it doesn't say effect. Um, yeah, monster effect. So when his monsters activate their effect, he al they also become mine. Basically, I'm invincible. <laughs> I'm an invincible guy who can't be hurt. Now, this would work better with a different uh, strat, but I don't really got all the cards that are required for this. I just worked with what I got. <laughs> I've got three Jars of Greed in my deck, as well as many other cards, such as Unifrog, who can attack directly, which just summoned one, at least. Because, dang, it took me a while to figure out that I could just destroy his monsters with my uh, totally awesome moves. Only 200, 2200 attack. <laughs> they didn't think that. <laughs> oh well. Oh, he activated a mystical space typhoon. Sadly, uh, totally awesome took it. <laughs> Basically, you play totally awesome and got these two cards in your deck, you win the duel. <laughs> this one required like three hits, apparently. <laughs> or it just, you can't attack anything but that monster that entire uh, turn. <laughs> I've got Raigeki just in case I need it. And another Unifrog. <laughs> I don't know any of his monster's abilities, I just know mine, so I'm just gonna keep track of mine. And this is where I just clap him. Just one turn, and I win. Literally, cause, um... I got 2300 points of damage I could do to him if I've got the right cards. <laughs> What did MST take out? Okay, that sucks. My my controller just died. That says defeat, but that's from his point of view. <laughs> After all, I am Sogma Nuts. Oh, I could just clicked on this. No, no, I couldn't. Okay. Hey, so that's the video. Thanks for watching. This is Shiro Mega's Darkness signing out. Y'all have a good day. And, uh, yeah, let's continue this Duelings journey together. Gonna continue trying totally awesome and, uh, see how he does against different decks. And I can't try new decks in Rank Duel anymore. I'm gonna do a free duel because, fuck, it's difficult to find any good matches in Rank Duel if you're using a, a niche deck. Anyways, yeah, uh, yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. This is Shiro, Make His Darkness, signing out. Larry, y'all.